So I was going to make like a super happy video about the iPhone 6. I was going to talk how it was amazing and all this stuff, but I kind of wanted to say that for a different day. Now, everything I'm going to talk about in this video can also be applied pretty much to the iPhone 6 Plus, okay? These basically were the same exact phones. It wasn't like the iPhone 7 Plus and the 7, which I have right here where those phones did have their differences inside of them, but in reality, the 6 Plus was just a bigger version of the already somewhat big iPhone 6 at the time. Now, here's the thing, and I feel like I've already talked about this 20,000 times, but in 2019, the iPhone 6 will most probably end. It's going to die. There's not going to be any more software support for it, and this kind of hits home to me super sadly because early on in my channel, like last year, basically during that whole iOS 11 phase, the iPhone 6 was really the main thing that was gaining most of the views for my channel, which is pretty crazy to think because now I barely even talk about it because there's, you know, kind of just phased off to oblivion. But if you remember, like my second most viewed video right now is about the iPhone 6, which is crazy. So I pretty much owe a lot to this phone and for me to just go weeks and months and months without talking about it is kind of sad. Now overall, I mean, I still know a lot of people who still use the iPhone 6. I know a lot of friends and everything, and I'm like, bro, just go update your phone. Like, used iPhones are really not even that expensive anymore. Like, you can get an iPhone 7 for cheaper than what an iPhone 6 was last year. You know, iPhone prices in the used department are starting to go down a little bit more each every year, so... I'm like, bro, there's really no reason to pick up an iPhone 6 anymore. And the sad thing is, is that the reason it is ending is because iOS 13, as we all know, is supposed to be a pretty big redesign. It's supposed to be gaining a lot of traction, a lot of new features, hopefully a pretty much new home UI layout, a lot of new things that are going to be coming and everything. And I would hate for Apple to focus so much attention on the iPhone 6. The 6 is already supposed to be, in my opinion, scheduled to be ended. But I feel like if they were to go and support the iPhone 6 for another version, it would almost be kind of doing a disservice for everyone else who owns every other iPhone. And let me explain. If Apple has to go and develop things for the iPhone 6, they have to do a new home layout, they have to do new settings apps, new everything, the multitasking, picture-in-picture, -picture, all that stuff. Whatever pretty much for the most part the iPhone XS and XS Max are going to support, most probably the iPhone 6 would have to support too. And the fact of the matter is, man, the iPhone 6, the iPhone 6 Plus, both of these phones are just not capable enough and fast enough to run these specific apps that we would want or specific tasks that we would want in iOS 13. Now, I think I do attribute this a lot to the one gig of RAM that this thing has, also the Apple A8 chip. Those two mixed together were never the fastest thing. I mean, any of you guys who own the iPhone 6, you guys know this thing is not fast. It was at one point, I'm not going to lie, like it was a capable device, but as of right now, it stands in a very, very strange spot. And for that reason, that's why I'm pretty sure iOS 13 is not going to come to it. And I'm not saying if you own an iPhone 6, obviously you are not capable enough of gaining new features or whatever. Like, I'm not saying that. I'm super happy that I got iOS 12 and it got up to here. And for me, someone who owns the iPhone 6 and does a lot of videos about these software updates for these things, like, I am kind of sad about it too. But in order for us to kind of further iOS and kind of, you know, gain more features, we kind of have to, like, get rid of some of the older iPhones in order for Apple to divert their attention to the main tasks, the main things at hand. Because if you remember... The iPhone 5S also got iOS 12, and in reality, maybe it shouldn't have, but I'm glad it did, because iOS 12 wasn't a huge redesign, it was a pretty small update. They really didn't do too much crazy things with it, so in reality, iOS 12 was just like iOS 11 with a couple more new features here and there, but mostly just stability and improvements in terms of just the speed and performance and everything like that. Not, nothing too crazy, but a lot more stable and it wasn't too bad. However, like I said, with iOS 13, it's supposed to be a pretty big redesign, and I want Apple to focus their attention on the newer iPhones and not necessarily have to develop things for the older ones and have to limit features. I'm, I'm pretty sure if iOS 13 was to come to the iPhone 6, it would be like the iPhone 4S with the iOS 9.3.5 update. I don't know which iPhone this is. Okay, okay, this is the iPhone 4, but this is pretty much like the same thing as the 4S, whatever. If Apple were to go back and push an update to the iPhone 6, that can make a lot of iPhone 6s kind of obsolete because the iPhone 4S, again, this is the 4, but the 4S got iOS 9.3.5. Technically, it got a better version. It just wasn't that good. And overall, what I'll pretty much sum this whole entire video up is the iPhone 6, it deserves to have a decent resting point. I'm sure that people can still use this phone after iOS 12, you know, even though it's going to stop. Once iOS 13 comes out, this phone is still going to be usable and everything. It's just not going to be getting updates. And I really hope in a way that the iPhone 6 does end in 2019. It doesn't just keep going. 
I hope it doesn't go through with the iOS 13 update, not because it doesn't deserve it or anything, but because that way Apple can go and focus their attention on the newer devices like the iPhone Success, which in my opinion, this isn't even that like performance heavy of a device, but it's still an extremely capable device, much more than the iPhone 6. And this phone is a very, very amazing phone. If you, if you own an iPhone 6 right now, go update to the iPhone Success. This is a very, very awesome phone and you probably won't regret using it. So, I mean, I can go all day about this, but that's pretty much where I want to end it for now. <laughs> if you guys have any questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit that like button, that'll mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also, check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel, all those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to learn.